Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today is Sunday, so you know what that means. We're going around the net with all the news you can use in the week that was in credit and finance. So on the docket for today, we are checking back in with the Built Rewards card, who's been on a tear lately of new features. Uh, Priority Pass is adding some more Be Relaxed spas in case you need to relieve some stress on the go. We have some chase stories, including is 524 finally relaxing, how you should play that. And of course, we actually have a look inside the Amex Centurion New York Lounge or restaurant uh, that we will take a look at as well. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, we will bat lead off with Built Rewards. Again, this is the credit card that allows you to pay your rent with a credit card from 1x Bank. We've talked about them, oh, it seems like at least every other show for the last month or so. So, you know, it's good to see them continuing to add more things. This time around, they are adding a dining feature. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is going to be called Built Dining is what they're calling it. So, um, it breaks down to a few different things, but it is kind of interesting. It's a different take. So Built Dining is a members-only benefit that rewards you with 5x Built Points at a curated list of local restaurants when you pay with any MasterCard, Visa, or American Express linked to your Built Wallet. So this works with a restaurant list for Built members. Uh, you can choose from a variety of, mem of restaurants in select cities, New York, Boston, Atlanta, Dallas, and Chicago. Uh, we have the full press release over on ProfitableContent.com for you. Now, of course, this is somewhat limited in the fact that the footprint, right, they've obviously focused on some of the bigger, bigger places. You know, there's no one, no one's going to have a curated list of the restaurants around me that consists of like a Coney Island, a Cottage Inn, a McDonald's, and a Tim Hortons. But, uh, you know, if you're in one of those places, it's nice. And the, the interesting thing about this is you just have to link another credit card to your bill wallet, uh, which I really like because that means... You know, I, I would pay attention to how it codes if you're going to do this. I don't know if you've relinked like your Amex Gold card for four back on dining, if that purchase is going to code as that restaurant or it's going to code as some kind of built portal or something like that. So you definitely want to, you know, take a look at it and try it out one time. But in our gold card example, you know, you're looking at four back potentially MR points and then five built points, which is a little bit more of a value proposition than you get normally with these things. Um, but, you know, we've seen other other issuers. Chase has their Chase Dining, things like that. Amex has Resi. So this is at least nice that they're not locking you into the built card that wouldn't potentially get you the highest multiplier. So if you do have this, if you do try it, let us know the restaurant selection, uh, what you get. Does it work? That would be a really good data point to see. At least stacking those points. So that is built, but if you actually suffer from the itis after you've eaten all this food and stacked all these rewards and you're on the go, well, then you're in luck because Priority Pass is adding more Be Relaxed spas to their list. So if you're unfamiliar, this is like a, a lesser known perk, a lesser talked about perk of Priority Pass. It's kind of similar to how you can use Priority Pass, you know, at restaurants and bars and airports as well as obviously the lounges. They have Be Relaxed spas and they offer, you know, certain spa treatments and things like that. Uh, so, you know, they are up to oh i think it is 14 lounges or 14 spas sorry right now and so i'll put the list on screen but you're again you're talking major airports atlanta dallas fort worth detroit metro shout out lax new york um kennedy and laguardia philadelphia san diego you've got toronto and a few spots there so overall i mean not too bad option wise now you do have you know your choice i guess of of perks there's like three different services you can get for about 30 minutes each overall i've never tried this i have walked past the be relaxed spot thought about it like could you make a video out of this probably i'm sure someone's done it so overall i mean i don't think this is a big perk. I mean, the real question is, you know, a lot of these Priority Pass memberships have actually been pulling benefits, especially the restaurant benefit. That one has been going away a lot. So will Priority Pass, you know, the card issuers who pay for this membership on our behalf, or as far as the annual fee, I should say, Will they continue to honor this? But either way, I mean, you know, any time it doesn't cost you anything and they add something, I say it's fine because if you use it, then fantastic. And if you don't, then uh, no big deal because it didn't cost you anything. Now, our next one, if you're talking about, you know, the, the pinnacle, the king of lounges perhaps is American Express. But this time we're not in the airport. We're talking about their Centurion New York. So we, we talked about this. Oh, it had to be maybe back in uh, March, April, something like that. Where we're still in April. So maybe February or March. Now, they were opening kind of like a bar, restaurant type deal in New York. 
Um, so we, you know, it's now open. You can book reservations for it. We have a redditor who actually went and they shot a uh, like a 60 second YouTube short. It was about their experience, their dining, the food they got. So I'm um, seeing as I'll probably never go. I'm going to put it on screen for you. We will give credit to this individual uh, down below in the link description. I don't think they're like a big aspiring YouTuber or anything, but if they are, definitely go check them out. So thank you in advance for stealing your footage. Um, now overall, I mean, it, it looks as nice as you would expect, honestly. Um, you know, you can see kind of the food they're going for, the feel of the uh, the overall lounge. I mean, which we didn't expect you to look anything else but nice, honestly. Now, it's hard for me to comment fully because, again, you're talking to a guy right now who ate a full DiGiorno frozen pizza by himself uh, earlier this weekend. So, I mean, you know, what am I really going to say here about the food in the menu, right? It's uh, I'm not a fancy foodie, so it's probably not necessarily for me. But, again, that's fine. We know they're not targeting me. Overall, I think it looks nice. Uh, the view, especially at the end, I mean, they, we know they're kind of like, what, the 55th floor? Of that building that they're in so out uh, of the Vanderbilt building I think it was so obviously the view you know in the lounge and everything it looks really nice over there so if anyone has actually been or going to go definitely let us know we'll use your footage as our on-site reporter on location reporter I'm um, overall again thanks to this individual for making the YouTube short for us so we could see into it again I mean there has been word that you don't have to even have like a, a Centurion or a Platinum card to actually book I so I don't know if they're just gonna like give priority order to those who are you know actually members or not uh, so we'll see but overall there is a look inside of it i know a few other outlets had pictures as well so just something fun to take a look at now with that we have two chase stories to close us out on so the first one is a quick hit so you know the freedom cards the og freedom and the freedom flex their categories for five percent back in q2 are lowe's and amazon um well, way back when amazon also used to include whole foods they used to specifically say it and uh they didn't this time so um the doctor of credit the good doctor looking out for us as he always is reached out to chase or they reached out to him however it works and chase has confirmed to him that whole foods will actually count for your five percent category uh so you know if you want to make a whole what did, what did I used to say? Whole Foods or Whole Check? What was that, that the joke everyone used to make about Whole Foods? I don't know. I haven't been there in quite some time. Uh, again, the DiGiorno pizza thing earlier, right? Uh, but uh, if you are in need or like Whole Foods, this is a, is a game changer. It does make it even easier. Not that Amazon was really that hard. Uh, they used to have an Amazon or Whole Foods and Chase branded card. It was the exact same as the Amazon card. So I guess that doesn't surprise me too much. So there is that. Now, the last Chase story centers around our Sapphire Preferred Elevated Offer and the good old 524. So first of all, Sapphire Preferred, it has two offers right now. Uh, you can go online and get 80,000 points for a $4,000 in spend, which is a pretty standard amount of spend. Um, we have channel member links. So they're not affiliate links, but they're members of our YouTube community, our channel memberships. If you're interested, you can check the join button down below. But they're on ProfitableContent.com. You just click the Sapphire card. You'd be helping out one of your own. So, you know, if you're considering that, by all means. Now, the other offer is in Branch, which is the one I did, which is 90,000 points. Um, and the annual fee is not waived. I'd spend $4,000, I think, in three months. And you have another, you have six months total to spend $6,000 all in. That gets you your, your last 10,000 points to get you to the 900. I went in Branch. I did this. You're probably only there for five, 10 minutes. It's much quicker than opening a bank account, right? So these offers are in the news. And now we have a string of data points going around on Reddit where folks are saying, hey, I've actually been over 524, like way over, and I'm getting approved. So naturally, cue the titles of is 524 no longer a thing, right? And I'll put some of the data points on screen for you because this happens a lot. This happened a lot with the ink cards. Actually, one of the ink cards, I think it actually went, one of the publications picked it up and said it was an actual thing they were told by Chase, which I don't think it actually played out that way. But Either way, you know, a lot of times people don't maybe know how to count to 524 or they're just off a little ways. But if you go through some of these data points, you can see they're at least they seem credible enough in the fact that the people are counting the correct way. They're listing the correct cards. I don't see business cards on the list, uh, which is which is helpful. So, you know, what, what does all this mean? Would I say that 524 is dead or the Sapphire Preferred is not included in 524? No, I mean, I think you know, there's, there's something going on, right? I do think there's something going on. We will never know what that something is. I mean, Chase barely acknowledges 524. The only acknowledgement they really give you is in the denial letter when it says like too many cards in the last 24 months or something like that. 
So, you know, for you, if you're, I would say if you're borderline, if you're like, you know, hey, I'm going to be under 524 in a little bit, I still don't think there's a rush because Chase has actually started giving us a last call on these offers. I'll put like an ending soon thing on there. So, you know, I would wait until you see that first because there's no real rush, especially for the online 80K, the in-branch one. Usually word gets out through one of the bankers, hey, that it's ending soon to one of the publications, usually the doctor, and then we all talk about it. So I would just wait and see. Now, if you're like, hey, I'm miles over, then I would, sure, why not? I think this is worth a dice roll, and it's a very low stakes dice roll in my opinion. Because if you're that far over, then you probably aren't scared of a hard pull or two. So you don't want to waste them by any means, but you're clearly not scared of them. So one hard pull, the upside is 80 or 90,000 points, depending on which offer you choose, um, or, a, or an empty hard pull. So that's kind of how I would look at it. You know, I don't know enough to say that it's suspended because we have still seen people being denied over 524 as well. So I haven't seen anything that gives us an inkling to the rhyme or reason or how they're deciding. And we'll likely never know. Well, most of their underwriting stuff is kind of, you know, in a black box deep within headquarters, right? Or just Jamie Dimon keeps it under his bed. I don't know. Um, so there is that. Either way, there is more hope. You should definitely, you know, consider giving it a shot now, I would say. I would still push the limit if I hadn't been under uh, 524 when I... I applied. I think I'm at 424 now, but to finish off the thought on that, when I did apply in branch again, it was five, maybe 10 minutes max. Um, I think I was at 324 at the time. I've gotten two Chase Inc. cards this year. Um, one was in February, I think one was in, in March. Uh, they were both Inc. cards, so about a month since my last application. So there's your data point on that. But again, I was underneath 524. So if you have an experience with this, uh, let me know down below. It will greatly help everyone as well as which offer would you go for. Again, I think the one in branch is the one to go for. But if not, again, profitablecontent.com. We have plenty of Sapphire links for you. Anyways, guys, that has been the news for this week. So, of course, if you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Because, again, we're posting content just like this every single week. Of course, every Sunday with all the news you can use in the week that was. And every single day over on ProfitableContent.com. As always, question for you guys is let me know what else you've seen going on in the news as of late. Definitely interested in those Built Rewards dining uh, data points if you have them. As well as the chase and, of course, whatever else is going on. Love to get your take on that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you very soon this week. Bye.